seriously. Like, seriously. Hi. Today, I shall be sharing with you what books I have got. Yay, exciting. So exciting. Numero uno. Slaughterhouse Live by Kurt Vonnegut Jr. That's not on these ones, it's on his newer ones, but. Um. Not entirely sure what it's about, but I know it's kind of like a semi utopia, fractured reality kind of thing. And it's supposed to be really weird, but really good. So I picked it up because I wanted to read it, obviously. And it was $7.99. Because it's a nice monthly paperback, and that's how much they all are, it seems. And book number two, I just said number two. Book number two, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Amazing. This book I've already read. Basically, it's about the apocalypse and good versus evil and how things turn out. The next three books that I got, which I guess there's more in the series, I don't know, maybe they're not out yet, but um, this is not one I got, this is one I already owned. It's called Touch the Dark by Karen Chance, and it's about a clairvoyant named, um, what's her name, Cassie. Clairvoyant as in she can see dead people and um it's got some romance and some mystery and uh some vampires they're in there too but i read this about three months ago and i was meaning to get the sequel and the everything after that i don't know what they're called but um the rest of the series so i was meaning to get the rest of the series I wanted to get the rest of the series, so I did, and I got three, because I think that's how many that are out. I don't know. There were the three that I found. So, um, Claimed by Shadow. I really like these covers. They're, like, mystique, but cool. Curse the Dawn, and Embrace the Night. I am participating, or trying to participate, should I say, in the 1001 books to read before you die. It's this giant list that you can find on, like, List Mania or whatever. I could uh, put a link in the sidebar, I believe it's that one. Yeah, the sidebar. And you could go look at that. But I got the first four books that were on the list. And so I'm going to share those with you. Um, number one is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo, Kazuo, whatever, Kazuo Ichiguro. I can say the last name, but the first name is problematic for me. Um, he's a English-British writer, and I'm actually currently reading this one. I don't know if you can tell where the bookmark is. It's like right there. I'm on page 76, and I still have no idea what the heck is going on, but it's really good, and since I don't know what's going on, I want to find out, so I keep reading, and yeah. Books is Saturday by Ian McEwen, and basically what I know from not reading it, but like reading reviews online, oh, you can see the sticker thing, that's annoying, um, is that it's about... A man in his hotel room and he sees planes crash in like the events surrounding 9-11 and how it affects one person I guess yeah see cuz on the cover it has the little ooh, it does it it's like drawing towards the building of death and doom yeah um I love this cover on beauty by Zadie Smith it's pretty big um, not really by my reading standards big, but, like, compared to the rest of them that I've showed you, this one is, it has more pages. 
and what I know about this book is, um, it's kind of like a, I don't want to compare it to Romeo and Juliet, but it's like, um, girl falls in love with a boy to be with her and their families don't agree, or it's something like that. Okay, so, so here we go. I don't know if it's actually number four, but the number four book on the 1001 books to read before you die is Slow Man by J.M. Casey, but it's about a man, I think he's a reporter, nope, he's a photographer, he loses his leg and he has to learn how to live in a different way than he used to. So then I got two other books. Okay, first book that I got is The City of Bones by, what's her name, Cassandra Clare. It's the first book book in the Mortal Instruments series. I love the, how the cover's all shiny and whatnot. Other book that I didn't ever buy, but now I finally have, and I'm really excited to read it. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So, this is my video, and this is the end, and I will talk to all of you hopefully soon. Bye! Thanks for watching! Thank you.